A Piece of Cake by Joe Murphy I'm fat, said Mrs. Large. No, you're not, said Lester. You're our cuddly mummy, said Laura. You're just right, said Luke. Mummy's got wobbly bits, said the baby. Exactly, said Mrs. Large. As I was saying, I'm fat. We must all go on a diet, said Mrs. Large. No more cakes, no more biscuits, no more crisps, no more sitting around all day. From now on, it's healthy living. Can we watch TV? asked Lester, as they trooped in from school. Certainly not, said Mrs. Large. We're all off for a nice healthy jog around the park. And they were. What's for tea, Mum? asked Laura when they arrived home. Some nice healthy watercress soup, said Mrs. Large, followed by a nice healthy cup of water. Oh, said Laura, that sounds nice. I'm just going to watch the news, dear, said Mr. Large when he came home from work. No, you're not, dear, said Mrs. Large. You're off for a nice healthy jog around the park, followed by your tea, a delicious sardine with grated carrot. I can't wait, said Mr. Large. It was awful. Every morning there was a healthy breakfast, followed by exercises. Then there was a healthy tea, followed by a healthy jog, by the time evening came around, everyone felt terrible. We aren't getting any thinner, dear, said Mr. Large. Perhaps elephants are meant to be fat, said Luke. Nonsense, said Mrs. Large. We mustn't give up now. Wibbly wobbly wibbly wobbly, went the baby. One morning, a parcel arrived. It was a cake from Granny. Everyone stared at it hopefully. Mrs. Large put it into the cupboard on a high shelf. Just in case we have visitors, she said sternly. Everyone kept thinking about the cake. They thought about it during tea. They thought about it during the healthy jog. They thought about it in bed that night. Mrs. Large sat up. I can't stand it any more, she said to herself. I must have a piece of that cake. Mrs. Large crept out of bed and went downstairs to the kitchen. She took a knife out of the drawer and opened the cupboard. There was only one piece of cake left. Aha, said Mr. Large, seeing the knife, caught in the act. Mrs. Large switched on the light and saw Mr. Large and all the children hiding under the table. There is one piece left, said Laura in a helpful way. Mrs. Large began to laugh. We're all as bad as each other, she said, cutting the last piece of cake before anyone else did. I do think elephants are meant to be fat, said Luke. I think you're probably right, dear, said Mrs. Large. Wibbly, wobbly, wibbly, wobbly, went the baby.